In today's fast-evolving world of automotive technology, Adaptive Cruise Control, or ACC, has emerged as one of the key features that enhance the driving experience. A step up from traditional cruise control, Adaptive Cruise Control takes the idea of maintaining a set speed and adds an extra layer of intelligence. It actively adapts to the flow of traffic, making it both a safety and convenience feature. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the world of Adaptive Cruise Control. How does it work? What makes it different? from the regular cruise control found in older vehicles? And how does it fit into the broader trend of autonomous driving technologies? Explaining its functionality, its advantages, and its role in shaping the future of driving. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. To understand adaptive cruise control, let's first revisit the concept of traditional cruise control. The basic form of cruise control, which has been around for decades, allows a driver to set a specific speed, and the car will maintain that speed without the need for constant acceleration input. This feature is especially useful on long highway drives, where maintaining a constant speed reduces driver fatigue and improves fuel efficiency. However, Traditional cruise control has a significant limitation. It doesn't account for changes in traffic conditions. If the car ahead of you slows down, you would have to disengage the cruise control or manually apply the brakes. This is where adaptive cruise control steps in with its next level intelligence. Adaptive cruise control goes beyond simply holding a set speed. Using sensors such as radar, LiDAR, or cameras, it constantly monitors the traffic ahead of the vehicle. If the car in front slows down, adaptive cruise control automatically adjusts the speed of your vehicle to maintain a safe following distance. Once the road clears or the car ahead speeds up, the system accelerates back to your preset speed. This hands-free management of speed is a game-changer in stop-and-go traffic situations, as it relieves much of the stress and tedium of driving in congested conditions. Many ACC systems today also allow for complete stop-and-go functionality, meaning they can bring the car to a full stop if necessary, and then resume driving when traffic starts moving again. One of the key components of adaptive cruise control is its ability to detect vehicles and other obstacles in the car's path. This is usually done through radar sensors mounted on the front grille of the vehicle, though some systems also incorporate cameras or LiDAR technology. These sensors constantly scan the road ahead, measuring the distance and speed of vehicles within range. By processing this data in real time, the adaptive cruise control system can make instant decisions about whether to slow down or speed up. In some advanced systems, this technology is also capable of detecting pedestrians, cyclists, or even larger objects like trucks and buses, enhancing overall safety. The ability to maintain a safe following distance is a critical safety feature of adaptive cruise control. Drivers can typically set the desired gap between their car and the vehicle ahead. This can be adjusted according to personal preference, with most systems offering multiple distance settings such as near, medium, or far. The system will then automatically adjust the car's speed to maintain that gap, even in changing traffic conditions. This feature is particularly useful when driving at high speeds on highways, where maintaining a consistent and safe distance from the vehicle in front is crucial for avoiding accidents. By reducing the need for constant braking and acceleration, ACC can also help to reduce driver fatigue on long trips. Adaptive cruise control is not just a standalone feature, but part of a larger trend towards semi-autonomous driving systems. Many modern vehicles equipped with ACC also include other advanced driver assistance systems, or ADAS, such as Lane Keeping Assist, automatic emergency braking, and blind spot monitoring. Together, these systems create a more comprehensive driving experience where the vehicle can handle many of the routine tasks that traditionally require driver input. 
Some cars are even capable of limited autonomous driving on highways, where the combination of adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping systems can effectively steer and manage the vehicle's speed with minimal driver intervention. This trend is paving the way for fully autonomous vehicles in the future. While adaptive cruise control is undoubtedly a convenient and safety-enhancing feature, it is important to remember that it is not a fully autonomous system. The driver is still responsible for monitoring the road and staying engaged in the driving process. ACC is designed to assist the driver, not replace them. There are certain limitations to adaptive cruise control that drivers should be aware of. For example, most systems rely on clear visibility to detect vehicles ahead, which can be compromised in adverse weather conditions like heavy rain, snow, or fog. Similarly, the system may not always recognize stationary objects, such as stopped vehicles, if they do not fall within the sensor's detection range. As a result, drivers must remain attentive and be prepared to intervene if necessary. The benefits of adaptive cruise control are multifaceted. From a safety perspective, it reduces the risk of rear-end collisions by maintaining a safe following distance and automatically adjusting the vehicle's speed. It also alleviates driver fatigue, especially on long trips or in congested traffic, where the constant need to brake and accelerate can be mentally exhausting. By maintaining smoother acceleration and braking patterns, ACC can even improve fuel efficiency, leading to reduced emissions and cost savings over time. Furthermore, ACC contributes to a more relaxed and enjoyable driving experience, as the driver can focus more on steering and navigation rather than constantly managing speed and distance. Looking ahead, Adaptive cruise control is expected to evolve further as part of the broader shift toward fully autonomous vehicles. Current ACC systems already demonstrate a high level of sophistication, but there are still areas for improvement, such as better handling of complex urban environments or tighter integration with vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle or V2V communication systems. As technology advances, we can expect future versions of ACC to become even more seamless and intuitive, working in harmony with other autonomous driving features to create a safer and more efficient transportation ecosystem. Adaptive cruise control is a remarkable innovation that enhances both the safety and convenience of modern driving. By automatically adjusting a vehicle's speed to match traffic conditions, it takes much of the hassle out of long drives and congested commutes. As we move toward a future with more autonomous driving technology, ACC represents a significant step forward in making driving not only easier, but also safer. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.